Aries, hi, welcome and welcome back. So your soul three with me, Leith. This is going to be a general message for my beautiful, hot, fiery Aries. What's up, Aries? Let's get into it, shall we? Let's ask, let's ask Spirit what your energy is. I'm hearing things are going good, but you got to keep moving forward. Don't think about what you lost. Think about what you've won. Something like that. Show me Aries energy today. I believe there's a full moon in Aquarius tonight. That might be significant to some of you. Maybe you need to release something. On full moons, we release. New moons, we open to receive. Show me Aries energy today, spirit. You're putting an end to being in two minds about something. There's a death to being in two minds about something. It's also saying on a spiritual aspect that you have a, it's a death and rebirth to looking at something um, objectively, but without staying in two minds. It's something like that. It's a new way of looking at something, Aries. It's something like that. Throwing something on its back or on its upside down, something like that, um, and you were able to see it. I, I don't know. I'm channeling that, though. What do we have for the situation for Aries? The magician. There it is. You manifested this. The empress. That's you, Aries. God damn. There is a death and an end to being in two minds about something, to keeping yourself not stuck, but in two minds. There's an end to it. It's also a beginning to a way of looking at things so that you're not stuck. I can process these things. I can look at the, I, I there's these things that I'm not going to keep it stuck. I'm not going to be stuck on it, but it's in the back of my mind in a good way. So that if you need it, it's there to pull on, but you, it's not forefront. Do you get what I'm saying? Aries, you manifested this. What does that mean? It means you saw it in the imagination. You saw it in your mind. You understood what you needed to do for whatever this is for you. Business, finance, career, family, friends, romance, right? And you manifested. You're like, okay, how do I, this is what I want. This is what I need. This is what I need. And then it's like spirit gave you the ideas, God, angels, ancestors, guys, whatever and whoever you believe in the most high, right? Um. And you got the ideas and then you made it happen on earth. You manifested this for yourself. It's like you woke yourself up and became more enlightened and jumped consciousness because of something that you're doing with yourself. Wow, that's deep. And there you are, my beautiful Aries, the Empress. Please don't get caught up in the sex or gender. There's no sex or gender in tarot. It's all arbitrary, right? This is the Divine Feminine, the Divine Mother, right? It's someone that knows a lot, is wise, has been through all the lessons, you know, and a lot of times the Empress goes through her own lessons, right, obviously, because she's all four queens in one, but she, once she gets to a certain level, she can kind of learn through others, too. Um, but don't get caught up in the sex or gender, because I could be saying Empress, and maybe you're an Emperor, right? This is just the divine feminine energy of the divine excuse me the energy of the divine feminine could be in a masculine body with a balanced feminine energy right or it could be a um, female body with a balanced feminine energy it's like that because the empress is the balance of the femininity it's just femininity the true divine feminine that's who you are for some of you, you're manifesting this as a person. For others of you, you are this. And what you're manifesting is going to be of equal measure. I'm hearing or better. A lot of solar, yellow, solar plex chakra, root chakra. Listening to yourself while staying rooted in the here and now. I see it, right? You're learning. It doesn't pay to be stuck in two minds. I got to make a decision. So I need it's something like that. There was a lot of meditation and thinking on this prepared for yourself too, because I'm thinking, but don't think that just because I'm in my thoughts that I don't know what's going on. It's something like that. Something about love and a victory. It also can be seen as a deep friendship, a victory and success in a deep friendship. And in some 
instances, this can mean a success and a triumph of yourself because there's a balance of the friendship within yourself, finding the feminine, the masculine within self, and becoming your own best friend, the success and the victory and the triumph of your own. Yeah, we don't need to talk about the judgment with the five of swords. We know what that is, but it's like you've put an end to anything that just doesn't serve you. There's no bickering, yelling, screaming, arguing. If you're not genuine and authentic from jump, see you later. Bye. And now I know that I am the freaking empress. And what I sense, see, and understand is the truth. So when I sense, see, or understand something, I'm going to call judgment on the smallest iota of infraction that um, I see fit, right? Because like when we invite, it's always a little thing. We invite it in without realizing because it's like, oh, it's not that bad or, oh, it's just this or just that. But that's just the first thing that someone or, has shown us, right? It's just understanding that this ain't worth it. Maybe you do still win all the fights, right? It doesn't have to be physical. can be, but it doesn't have to be. It's like, but why put yourself through that? You know, it's like, why allow others to make you feel like you have to defend yourself so much so? No, I'm just going to call judgment on what I see and know as an empress. I know human behavior and I understand why people do the things that they do. So now when I even sense, see, or, you know, notice the smallest infraction, like iota small, I am going to call my own judgment on it. It doesn't have to be super harsh. It can just mean what I just said. It also can be saying there's some sort of forgiveness that the Empress is taking on from some drama. It's some, it could be something like that because there is a soulmate. There is a connection. This also could be somebody from your past you're reconnecting with. It could be a past life connection or it's a reconnection within yourself, like I said. But there's some sort of abundance that's coming in. Spirit wants to give you a gift. And it's a physical gift, tangible, practical here and now. Spirit is happy about how you stealthily moved through and put up boundaries and laid your burdens down to move forward in the ways that you want. That's what I got for you, beautiful Aries. Is there anything in Aries' blind spot? You already know this I'm hearing. What's in your blind spot? You just have some Knight of Wands energy, which these are like the, like a player type, but like they're running away from you because they can't face you. So you, it, it's like, it's in your blind spot, but it's not really in your blind spot. It's just that you're on such a high level. You're not even entertaining this energy, but you're getting quicker to understand this energy when it comes towards you and they will flee. You're, you're just understanding a lot. So what's in your blind spot is this type of energy running away from you. And if so, let them run because you don't want to be chased. And the Empress doesn't chase. She what? Yeah, attracts. Aries, I really, you know, that's the truth. That's where we stop. Damn. And it's also more aqua energy. And like I said, I believe it's a full moon in Aquarius, right? There's also some sort of, there's the boundaries again with friends. Maybe that's the drama. It's overcoming something, seeing something and understanding, yes, I can celebrate with you and I'll have fun with you, but I'm not putting up with X, Y, or Z. Or I, I mean, you don't even have to say it like that. It's just like, I can't do these things because I want to go out and have fun, but not if you're going to act those ways, right? Because I don't act those ways. Therefore, I don't want to be around others who do. I'm not saying that you can't go out and have a good time. And sometimes, you know, we get too loud or whatever. But this is like ridiculousness that you're like, yikes, no thanks. No, no, I'm too old for that. Um, even if I'm not too physically old for that, I'm too old mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Something like that because you are tradition. There's also showing me, um, I saw this Aries also with Aqua. But now I'm seeing it with you too. Different cards meaning the same things though. Could be a marriage coming, proposal coming, a celebration, an engagement party. Because there's a lot about truth, justice, uh, not justice, it's truth. And like could be a judge, right? But the Hierophant is also traditional as well. Like a trad wife or something like that. 
and there's a celebration. So it could be an engagement party. It could be a marriage. It could be, it's some kind of big celebration though. This could be a huge success. Maybe you're in a law firm or maybe you're in, I don't know why I'm getting IT or human resources, but there's some sort of celebration for something that you did through either work, home life, stability, family, friends, it, 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 romance, it's whatever is, however it's going to resonate for you, right? Everyone's different and everyone's story is different. I just read the energy, but there's some celebration, um, but you want a traditional celebration or you want something traditional, something like that, Aries, and you're going to get it. You're going to get what you've been waiting for. Now they're showing me again the trad wife. So some of you might want to be a traditional wife or this is something that you've manifested, or right? And it's like, it's coming. This is coming, Aries. You could maybe you want, uh, maybe you're a masculine a man and you want to um, have a traditional wife, right? And you looked at all of your options, right? And it took a lot of different seeing snakes and having to go through like, it's like now that I know all these emotional offers, I know that not all of those are good. I know that some of them can be trainy, but I'm smarter than that now because I am the high priestess. Piscean energy is here with, and I know what will make me happy. And I don't want to be put on a shelf, something like that. And I don't want pride, ego, something like that, guys, right? This could be making someone else uncomfortable because they're looking at their past or the past that they had with you and they're sort of trying to temper or they're waiting things out, but they know that something's come to an end. And then there it is, the King of Swords, wow. And there you are, Aries. You are looking away from somebody, from something. You're like, I'm all set. I'm all set. This is you, Aries, as you move forward. So somebody could be like too harsh for you, too not cruel, but just too cold, not have enough passion or love or fiery because you're not even looking at that, right? It's like that. And look, you're moving forward. You could be moving. Some of you, there's the globe. There's the forward, leaving the past behind. I'm, I'm also hearing coming home. Some of you are coming home, going home. I don't know who that's for. But you see that like the past is behind you, but it's like also taking part of the, the knowledge of the past without the physicalness of the past to move forward into your own future. Yeah. This is monumental. It's got the star and the sun. Boom, boom. We're going to end here. We've got Leo energy, aqua energy, um, because you changed a cycle. The sun and the star. Like what? See, uh, only two cards in any deck that I see, whether they're upside down or, or upright, always is a good thing. I, it is. You've put so much work into yourself, and you carry like so much. You're a humanitarian. So, right, it's like that you are getting success and home life stability success as well from what you like overcome. But it's also saying star like energy, you're breaking it out into it's like, bam, I'm fucking here. Business, finance, career, or again, this is some like my dream is coming true. My wish upon a star that I made reality, my happiest day. It's like that. Some of you also could be having a child. That could be it. Your success upsets others, but that's not your problem. The wheel of fortune, the, the drama, all that shit's done. I told I knew you were the empress. All the queens are coming out now. Boom, queen of pentacles, you're here. I keep saying we're going to end, but that's what I have for you. There's a lot of home life stability here. Queen of pentacles, something's happening on earth. Some of you want to be a mom or you're trying to be a mom, um, like conceive. I see that because the empress... Queen of Pentacles, it's in the cards for right now. I'm hearing um, three to six months, but then they're also showing me a seven. So I don't know if that, what that could mean. Maybe that's significant to some of you. That's what I have for you, Aries. Forward movement. Keep going. You're balanced. You've got this. I love you, my fire signs. Bye, Aries.